Aries. Oh, I feel like we're running a marathon tonight. I cannot sleep. Uh, my sleep schedule is so off. What's up, Aries? I'm here to do your pop up love reading for my Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. What's going on out there? I know I'm not the only one up with this fucking super solar eclipse. So. Oh, Lord. Glad when this energy down this out. So, Aries, what's going on? Let's see what's going on with this person while you're watching this video. Oh, oh, community. Damn, community, back to back. So your person is currently seeking friends and family and you guys are currently, um, they see you as seeking friends and family. So you guys are mirroring each other. Both of you are focused on your family or your responsibility or your children, something like that. <clears throat> your person currently don't feel value or they feel some type of lack with the door to value in reverse what is spirit trying to tell Aries person this is either you or your person oh what you don't know is or what you don't realize is that this person will be or is the woman or and or man of coin while they're holding a coin, yeah. So, Aries, you can be dealing with someone that lack value and um, you probably think this person is listening to the community because the way you see that, or the way the person see you is that you listen to outside influence and actually, your actual current, current energy is that you are attached to house other phones. But Aries, the person that you are dealing with, door to value in reverse, they feeling some type of lack. Spirit is trying to let them know or warn them that you are or they are the man or woman with the coin. And the outcome is the woman and or man with the coin. We're gonna say person with the coin. So, it appears to me, Aries, that your person need to get some confidence or you need to get some confidence. And since we reading this about your person, your person is lacking value. They are feeling really insecure right now. Bottom of the deck, we got all tied up in reverse. Maybe they feel insecure because they feel like you are tied up and detached from them. You know, my reverse card is door to value. Now, this could be your person, or maybe you in a third party situation with these two community cards here. And a lot of people got a lot to say about this shit that's causing your person to see the lack of value in you. Why is this door to value in reverse? We're gonna get down to it though. This person wants to move on from this community and focus on themselves and you. But they got all these people chattering in their ear. These people, probably who they're dealing with that's in their energy, lacks value. And they are very codependent on your person. And or you. Apply how it goes. Spirit is calling on you to stand in your fucking power because you are more valued than you realize. You do not have to people please or subject yourself to this bullshit 
to be in your power because it look like the outcome that you are the person with the coin. But you need to stand in your power. Capricorn. Yeah, it could be a Capricorn that's causing a blockage. Spoil ass selfish bitch. That's what Spirit just said. Who is this community? Hopeless. This community, your person that you're dealing with is feeling hopeless around this community of people. At one time, this person was very codependent. These people gave them a lot of praise. They was, you know, all this and all that. But a, Spirit has said these people actually working on their on they own personal relationships and their own problems and left your person out in the cold and feeling hopeless. But what your person need to realize, these same people that left them out in the cold and leaving them hopeless, they tried to depend on, they need to notice how they, these community of people put their heart first and told them to put super, superficial shit first. Basically, your person, people, is working shit out with their lover or whatever while they advising them to leave you out in the cold and don't fight for this situation. Let's get, we got a, uh, what's the second community? About? Yes, your person wants to escape, escape the ego. Whatever ego that these people help him, him or her build up, your person is trying to escape it. Their current energy towards you is hopeless because these same people cause or played a role in this person hurting you or betraying you. Spirit is asking this person to move on, see their value, and focus on the one that they love, the one that's holding their heart. Look like your person is going to eventually stay in their power. Their coin is going to get back up. This Capricorn that's holding on to their coins. I don't know what that's about. Or maybe they empowering the Capricorn energy and holding their fucking money back and sending in their power against this community of people. They cause y'all to cause the breakdown in your soul connection in the first place. Mm. Yeah, this person that your uh, your person was dealing with a lot of narcissists. Hey, Nyla, your person was dealing with a lot of narcissistic people. Let's go on to the tarot. This is self explanatory Your person didn't see your value. These people um, basically was in their ear and they abandoned you, period, shit. Now they want to stay in the power because, now they want to stay in their power because they want their money back or they see you as the bag, period. And not just the bag, like they want to use you for money, but like you are they happily ever after and these this person is probably realizing that these motherfuckers are karma. What do we want to know? Okay. Your person lacks value. So now they are focusing on themselves and trying to move forward and see their value. What happened for this person? What triggered this person's emotional growth? Because that's emotional growth. When they realize that this community play in a role of their low self-esteem or their downfall, and they realize that they need to depend on themselves and try to save these bitches and hoes and motherfuckers, highest priest, yes. Your person is definitely following their intuition. And moving on and moving forward. 
from this community. And it look like they're going to stand in their power. Oh, yes. They're going to stand in their power. They're going to speak their truth to you about this juggling. What about this Capricorn and holding the coin? What about this Capricorn and holding the coin? I think that's somebody being in a relationship. Oh, Wheel of Fortune reverse. There's no beginning with this Capricorn who's been holding the coin and who's been basically manipulating this whole situation. This Capricorn could be the person that came in between y'all. Why do they feel hopeless because of this community with you? The tower in reverse. Oh, because they know that it was wrong. They played a role in this upheaval. They know they did with their immature ass. Okay, this is a lot. Yes, they are under judgment. They was betrayed by this Capricorn or this person holding the coin. They wish to be independent and single. Right now, they're resting and, and thinking about their actions. What's up with this Will of Fortune and this Capricorn who is holding the coin? What's going to happen? What else is going to happen? Because it looks like something going to stop. Why is it going to stop? Oh. Your person going to stop this crying over spilled milk. This Capricorn got him. Shit. Period. This bitch had devil energy attached to him. They was the devil. Or you was attached to a devil. It was a Capricorn. Any more messages? I'm going to tell you one more tarot card. I did not ask for all this. So this is it. What we got? The Six of Swords in reverse. There's The reason why your person is crying over sick, um, spilled milk because there was no victory. No Two of Cups. They realize this person was a karmic and not a soulmate. They're no longer in hermit mode. They see the light now. And this hoe was really just fronting. She's a queen of pentacles in reverse. Earth sign. That's codependent on them. There was some type of setup or manipulation that was going on. That your person was stuck in. And the person they were stuck with or in the situation where it was holding all the coins and or all the cards. But they see now, it don't matter whether they with this person or leave this person, they go still going to be broke or stuck. So why not just leave and follow your happiness? Let's see what this person got to say to you, Arius. And then I'm out. I swear this is the last video I'm doing. I'm going up in my bed. Oh, my oxtail smell good. I know I can't give you what you need. Okay. This person feel like they can't give you what you need because basically this person is probably extremely manipulative, codependent, and take all their fucking money. Mm-hmm. I visit you in your dreams. Oh, my God. You've probably been having vivid dreams about this person. They've been, been trying to come communicate with you and tell you about what's been going on. They say they are jealous. So this person must be watching you. They view you as a life partner. Ooh. And a divorce. They view you as a life partner and they in the process. Maybe the person you was dealing with is married. They are in the process of trying to divorce this person. And they want you to know they visit you in your dreams so you're not disillusional. They're trying to send you telepathic messages. Maybe they can't contact you. With this five of cups. And then this person is holding all the cards and all their money. Look. Don't let nobody keep you intimidated from following your dreams or your heart. Especially a man or a woman. Just because it looked like they got all the money or it looked like they got all the laws that might go in their 
hands, you got to remember that the judge and the people are humans too. And they got a God just like you. So you're going to have to trust God. Never stay in a situation because you fear the power of man. You better remember who the fuck your God is. This is some messy shit. Yes. This Capricorn or whoever this is holding the coin is making this person feel like they cannot survive without them. This person is scared. This person has some codependent issues. Oh my God. Let's take one more message for now. I'm feeling bad for this person. I didn't know what to say. This person is just sitting around letting this karmic talk shit like she the woman with the coin when she really is the fucking queen of pentacles in reverse. He or she. And this person needs to wake up that this person is a narcissist. They do not have to be tied to this situation. And they also need to realize whether if you are in a life or not this situation with this karmic individual is absolutely toxic and it's a lesson that they need to learn and walk the fuck away period and they are absolutely in love with you Aries. some will rise but somebody is a coward and they need they need to get their shit up they courage up and I'm about to go upstairs and get in my bed, strip naked, get under my fan. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm sleepy now. Whew, child. Got me sweating. Ooh, this fucking karmic, this Capricorn. Got this person all sweating and paranoid. This person must got some mommy or daddy issues. They are very codependent on this person. And this person played on that shit. This person that appears like they're the woman or man of coins, which they really is a broke, uncreative, unhustling, codependent, probably a crackhead, drunk bitch. Make this person feel like that. That's This is all they have. This person probably starts a lot of shit. In your person life, move their family away from them, all kinds of shit. Your person need to, uh your person is going through a karmic lesson now until they get some self love and walk away from this situation for themselves, not just for you, but for themselves. This shit may come together. And they are working um they are looking at a divorce and they do see you as a life partner. And they're trying to escape their ego because they know that you they probably left you for this person. What else we got here? Page of Pentacle, yes. Very childish energy. Page of Wands. Yes. They want to apologize and speak to you, but they don't know how. Eight of Cups. They scared to walk in reverse. They scared to walk away from this from the fucking devil. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Good night. I'm going to bed. Peace out. I love you all. Please like, share, subscribe. I know I ain't been here in a minute, but I mean, I do it when spirit calls me and when I had the energy to do it. And spirit been keeping me up with this eclipse and all this shit, so. And I'm cooking oxtails. Oh, they smell so good. I think they're ready now. Peace out.